President uh, of the SADEC Parliamentary Forum and Speaker of the National Assembly of Angola, Honorable Fernando Diaz dos Santos, the SADEC uh, the Vice President, Senator Monica Mutsvan Gua, the host speaker, Honorable Patrick Pile, and fellow speakers of the SADEC National Parliaments. Honorable Leader of the Opposition of Seychelles, Honorable Wibur Ram Kalawan. Honorable Leader of Government Business of Seychelles, Honorable Charles de Kumamo. Ministers, <laughs> Chairperson of the Regional Women's Parliamentary Caucus, Dr. Jesse Kabwila. Honorable Members of the Parliament from SADC National Parliaments. The Secretary General of SADC PF, Dr. Eso Chiria, all protocol observed. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to express a warm welcome to all of you, distinguished parliamentarians, to this 41st Plenary Assembly session of SADC Parliamentary Forum. May I extend a special word? of welcome to those visiting Seychelles for the first time. I trust that you will have a memorable stay in our country and we look forward to your next visit. We thank the SADC Parliamentary Forum together with the Seychelles National Assembly for having chosen Seychelles as the venue for this most important plenary assembly session and it is indeed an honor for us to host this auspicious event for the first time. I was once privileged to serve as a member of the Seychelles National Assembly. Since that time, I have reserved a special place in my heart for this most important institution and its pivotal role in amplifying the voice and the will of the people. I have no doubt that during your stay in our country, you will be able to feel the pulse and heartbeat of our young, evolving democracy and the dynamics of our nation as we continue to shape our future and our destiny as one people. Honorable members, ladies and gentlemen, Africa is in the middle of a process of massive transformation. The continent is home to about seven of the world's 10 fastest growing economies. It has rich natural resources, a young population, and scope for growth. Around the globe, companies and countries alike are turning to Africa's promise. It is a continent of hope with immense potential. However, the continent still has many development challenges to overcome. In the context of globalization, regional integration is imperative for Africa. But effective implementation of regional frameworks will only take root in healthy and democratic environments where economic management is transparent and accountable. <coughs> Building this kind of political and economic security requires that we think and act regionally and continently in the spirit of solidarity and shared commitment. Indeed, the globalized world economy demands that we act as organized regions to give ourselves the best chance of turning that hope into tangible improvements in the quality of lives of our population including the reinforcement of the values of democracy and good governance. Seychelles' relationship and cooperation with SADC draws its strength from our collective solidarity. These democratic values, nurtured by a common purpose for progress, peace, security, freedom, social justice, and prosperity for the peoples of Southern Africa. In this context, Seychelles reaffirms its commitment to the vision 
objectives and programs of SADC towards regional integration. We are undertaking the process of regional integration in order to achieve strong, sustainable economic growth and to become a major and effective actor in world governance. In order to achieve an effective and transparent regional integration process, we purposefully need to ensure the meaningful participation of the people and institutions of SADC. Parliament is the embodiment of representative democracy and its untapped potential to deepen SADC's regional integration should be appreciated and recognized. The recognition we can give to the SADC Parliamentary Forum for its contribution in advancing the region's democracy, governance, peace, and development agenda is to earnestly consider its quest for transformation into a regional parliament. This is a name which the government of Seychelles fully supports. In this context, the setting up of the SADC Regional Parliament will build more sustainable foundations for peace and security, better promote the implementation of policies, democratic standards and best practices, resulting in greater political stability, more sustainable economic development, and increased regional integration. The leaders, governments, and people of Southern Africa will use the SADC Regional Parliament to share best practice and developments in governance and socioeconomic advancements. Honorable members, ladies and gentlemen, it is heartening to note that the 41st Plenary Assembly session is meeting under the theme, Annessing the Democratic Dividend in SADC through investment in the youth. This theme is in line with the commemoration of the African Union's 54th anniversary, and it's in line with the organization's vision 2063. The adoption of this vision is a colossal milestone towards inclusive development of our continent and empowerment of our people. Today, the theme provides us with the opportunity to continue valorizing our youth with more vigor and dynamism. The involvement of youth in the development of our continent and indeed in Southern Africa will be more inclusive participation and development. Our youth are an extraordinary asset to our region. The theme therefore reminds us of the urgency to provide platforms, opportunities, support and resources to enable them to be true drivers for continued and increased sustainable development, progress, peace and advancement of our region. There is need to open new horizons, new avenues for our youth's development. We are here to help them shape a better future and in doing so, and as the potential of the next generation. Ladies and gentlemen, our youth will change Southern Africa. Our youth will make Africa better. Our youth will make the world better. I have no doubt that it is in the spirit that you will deliberate on this most important theme as well as on other issues of regional importance. It is now my honor and privilege to declare this 41st Plenary Assembly session of the SADC Parliamentary Forum officially open. I wish you fruitful deliberation. I thank you.